Hey everyone, welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It is very, very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, welcome back guys. So y'all, we made it. Welcome to 2020. Um, this is exciting. Uh, I just really feel like this is going to be a really exciting year for all of us. Uh, not just an exciting year, but a really a, an exciting decade to come. So congratulations to all of us that made it through the hell that has been the last, I want to say two and a half years. I know for many of us, there was a massive activation that happened in the summer of 2017. I know that's when my activation really happened, <laughs> like big time. And then, you know, 2018, 2019, 2019 especially though, were periods of purging and healing and letting go of things that no longer serve us so that we can create space for that which we truly desire and what we really want in our lives. So welcome to that decade where it seems that this stuff is gonna be coming through. Yeah, I'm really, really excited. And also, I'm very excited for you guys to see the readings for this month, um, for January of 2020. Uh, as I was doing them, you know, they were all ugh, all coming out really great. Even though there were some, you know, challenging parts for certain signs or certain situations, ultimately, though, it's all a good thing. And it's all, um, Spirit is saying, even now, it's a process of healing and... Um, uh, process of healing that is taking place in order for us to really break free from the chains and do what it is we truly desire in our lives yeah so just a few things um i want to mention first if you are interested in getting a personal reading please don't hesitate to email me all of the information is in the description box below um just keep in mind that if you are looking for a private a personal reading your best bet is to just email me first as that's where I'm most likely going to direct you. You can hit me up on Instagram. That one is a pretty good option. I'm, However, I'm going to be asking you for your email address anyway, so you may as well just want to email me if you want to do that. Do not send any inquiries through Facebook. I will not be taking uh, private reading inquiries through Facebook. Yes, that is just not as a reliable source for communication at least in my opinion, as I've experienced moving forward, yeah? Email is always the best, but also Instagram is a good way too. You can find all of that information, the link to my Facebook page, the link to my my Instagram page, and my email address, along with all of the readings that I offer, their descriptions and prices in the description box below, yeah? Um, so for the readings this month, Oracle Guidance is coming again from the Earth Warriors Oracle. I really, really love this deck. This was a gift from one of our subscribers here. Thank you so much, Sam. I really love this deck. Um, and then the readings themselves are structured a little bit differently. First of all, I highly recommend that everybody watches the Capricorn reading as we are in Capricorn season right now, or at least as for the month of January. Um, a very happy birthday to all the Capricorns out there, by the way, and also a very happy birthday to the January Aquarians. Yeah. But um, I do recommend that people do watch the Capricorn reading because even if you don't have Capricorn in your chart, uh, it can give you a good amount of insight as to um, you know what you could expect during Capricorn season. Moving Moving forward, I do think I want to do that more often. I may actually just start doing a reading, a separate reading for the season that we're moving into because I kind of feel like, uh, you know, I don't want you guys' readings to get hijacked when it's supposed to be like, say, for Capricorn, but it turns into a big old collective reading. So that's the way it worked this time. Moving forward, I think I am going to do a separate reading because I think it would be good just to have a general reading just to see what's going on for the collective um, in terms of the different seasons that we're moving into. Also, for the readings, I have now included Jupiter in the situation. And it's funny because for the last like six months of 2019, I was kind of hearing myself say and want to say Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. I just never actually did it. Um, but starting this year, it is a thing. Um, Jupiter is a great way, like say if you're looking in terms of love, if you're looking for like a husband or your or like a masculine counterpart, you would look to your Jupiter sign. And conversely, if you were looking for like a wife or a feminine counterpart, you would look to your Venus sign. But also Jupiter is a planet of luck um, and, and finance and fortune and whatnot. And so if you kind of want to see like maybe how your career is going or whatnot, whatever, you might want to look at Jupiter. Yeah. So I just threw that in there. Um, in case you guys were interested, yes. Also, moving on into 2020, my channel is now 
up and eligible for memberships and with memberships come different tiers of perks and whatnot and so over the year of 2020 i am going to be rolling that out i have some planning to do with it i wish i could roll it out you know january 1st it's ready to go but that's really not realistic because i didn't get the email the notification about it until like mid-December when I was actually, I was in the middle of recording the last Twin Flame reading that I did for December, which is a great one. If you haven't seen it yet, absolutely go ahead and watch that. But I got the email during that reading. And so I'm now, I got to take some time to plan and see what I want to do, what kind of perks I want to offer um, and all that kind of stuff. But that is coming. I'm super, super excited about that. Um, I'm going to be going through a whole rebranding process during the month of, or during the year of 2020. So I'm super, super excited to bring you guys more content. And I would, if you're interested in becoming a member, I would highly recommend that you do that because then that's going to provide me with more financial stability in order to devote more time to the channel and to the readings and to you guys. And there are more things that I want to offer, like tarot uh, services, like count, um, uh, counseling services. If you're interested in learning the tarot, um, that might actually be a membership perk that I'll offer, like a you know for members only weekly like tarot masterclass or some something like that. You know what I mean? I mean it's just an idea, but um, if you are interested in membership, I would highly recommend that you consider doing so once it's available, because again, that will allow me more time um, and, to be able to devote. To the channel yes okay guys so i guess that's it i'm gonna stop rambling and let's just get into the reading yeah cool sagimatazical hey saggy welcome to your reading for january 2020 thank you so much for tuning in all right sag so getting into your energies um i feel like there is this very serious, very somber energy or air about you right now. And I almost want to say that you're in, you're, you're taking something almost too seriously. This feels like an energy where someone is recently awakened or has recently enlightened or has recently reached a higher point of view or a, a higher perspective or a more broad perspective or something like that. And, um, it, like, it feels like someone that's really, diving into the whole spirituality of, of things but it's a very it's like you're very new to it so because you're so new to it you're trying to like do things like follow certain things to a t follow certain practices to a t being uh being in an energy of really wanting to like convey a message that's come across it could come across as kind of preachy at times but it's just an element of recent awakening right like having recently awoke awake woken up to certain elements and then it turns out like as you go down the path as you become more seasoned in this as you've been experiencing it for longer you start to realize oh wow i really don't need to take this so seriously you know maybe i was being a little too um <clears throat> rigid at one point you start to relax into it but that would only come with time and it feels like right now someone is in an, is in that that beginning stages okay overall energy we're starting you off with your own energy here so temperance so you're coming through sag this is very good you're showing up for your for your reading that's excellent um I feel like you are very aware of yourself. You're very self-focused. You're self-conscious, but in a good way. You're self, okay, not self-conscious. I guess maybe self-aware. That's good. You're working on being more self-aware. You're working on going through this integration process of really trying to balance and find harmony between your spiritual, your spirit, your, your spiritual reality and your physical reality, whatnot, whatever. You're going through a bit of an integration process, and that's beautiful. That's excellent. I have here the Wheel of Fortune, which is in reverse, with the Six of Swords, and then you have the Star with the Hierophant. I, what I feel like is happening for you, Sag, right now is you're in an energy of consciously trying to change your destiny, consciously trying to heal from some things that have happened in the past, um, maybe things associated with family, having to do with indoctrination, with the status quo, with the the mundane, the the you know the the the, the brainwashing, all that kind of stuff, the patriarchy, all that kind of stuff. I really do feel like you're in a conscious effort or a conscious energy of changing your destiny surrounding that, leaving past circumstances behind, uh, which makes perfect sense because this is really has been what we've been talking about on my channel here for Sagittarians since about August. I want to say when that with that reading that made me cry. 
Um, and if you're if you're new to my channel and if you haven't checked that out, I would totally recommend that you go check that reading out because it might really be relevant to you. It's from August of 2019, but um, I re I just feel like there's a very there's a there is a strong concerted effort to really make a change to the direction that your life is moving in uh, and to your destiny, whatever it is you're manifesting in terms of your destiny. Okay, um, and changing your life out of the status quo or out of any of the indoctrination that you've experienced throughout your life and healing from that. Um, and in you healing from that, yes, you are. I really do feel like you are taking this very, very seriously. And this is a good thing. I don't want you to think that it's not a good thing. Like, like it's, there isn't, that it's not honorable or that, you know, you're wrong in any way for taking it so as seriously as you are. Um, I do think, I do think you could lighten up a little bit uh, on yourself, maybe even on the circumstances, but especially I would say on yourself. Maybe try not to take yourself so seriously all the time. Um, that, 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 I mean, it's really not necessary, but what Spirit is saying here is that can help lighten your load. That can make this a little more bearable for you, okay? You don't have to be so hard on yourself. You also don't have to be so hard on others, too. I understand that many of you might be coming to certain realizations, and, and you're starting to see that reflected in your external reality. You're starting to see how that's showing up in your external reality. And, you know, you might get triggered by it. You might get really upset by it because you see it happening, but... It's just a matter of awareness, okay? All you have to do is change your alignment to that and it will no longer experience, you're, it will no longer show up in your life. You don't have to go out of your way to get other people to change their actions or change their beliefs or change their way of being. That's none of your responsibility. It's none of your business even, okay? All you really need to do is if you don't like something, if you see something showing up in your reality that you no longer want to manifest in your life, you literally just have to change your alignment with it. And a lot of that has to do with changing your judgment of it. When you stop judging it is when you will stop aligning with it or when you will stop pulling it into your reality. Yes? Ah. So what this element of newly found awakening is bringing forward for you, Sagittarius, is an opportunity to understand how you judge yourself and how you judge others, an opportunity for you to understand the judgments that you hold and release them. Because if you're moving into a place of unconditional love, then that means that you're not judging people for the circumstances that they find themselves in or for the ways that they conduct themselves. You're discerning. So if there is energies around you that you don't, you really don't want to tangle with, then that's fine. You don't have to allow them into your life, but that also doesn't mean that you have to judge them for it. They're on their own spiritually guided path too, just like you are. There is not one person on this planet, whether they recognize it, they're consciously aware of it or not. There is not one person on this planet that is not on some sort of spiritual journey, period, no matter how it might look. So again, definitely maintain a sense of discernment, but also work on releasing the judgment. Yeah? Excellent. All right, Sag, let's get into the rest of this here. <clears throat> Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Sagittarians, sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the month of January 2020. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Sag, I'm going to give this five shuffles, then we'll see what we've got for you here. So this is one. I am seeing yellow for you, Sag, which is uh, your solar plexus, your willpower. Um, two. I really do feel like you're very action-oriented right now. You're wanting to take the steps. You're wanting to do what's right. This is three. This is beautiful. This is a good thing, Sag. Again, you don't have to take it so seriously, though. Yeah? Four. And five for my Sagittarius for January 2020, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. All right, Sag. Let's see what we've got for you here. Boop. All right. Overall, 
energy strange did i do that yes i did okay overall energy is the four of cups okay sag hmm. searching for deeper meaning um, I do really feel like you, there's a lot of boredom. You're feeling a lot of boredom around you. You're just feeling, uh, you're not impressed. There, there's something more. There's something more that you're yearning for. And I really feel like the universe is handing that to you right now in the form of awareness. Underneath the Four of Cups, you, <laughs> you've got the Four of Pentacles. And it's so funny because what I was going to say was... Um, the universe is trying to hand you something in form and you're handing it to you in the form of awareness, which is going to allow you to start to release some things from your life, some elements from your life that are blocking what it is would be truly fulfilling for you. And there you have the four of pentacles, which is representing whatever it is that would need to be released. I'm hearing also walked away from underneath the four of pentacles. You've got the ace of pentacles. There it is right there. The new life, the new circumstance. That you're basically clearing space for. Underneath the Ace of Pentacles is the Nine of Swords, though. There's anxiety surrounding this. Some of you are dealing with feelings of worthiness, is what I'm picking up with that Nine of Swords. It's like, you know you want this Ace of Pentacles energy, whatever this would represent for you, but you feel and you're bored with your current circumstances or you're not happy with the life that you are currently living. And so there are things that you need to let go of, but there's also this element of not feeling worthy, not feeling good enough. And that's kind of coming from the Hierophant energy that came out in the beginning. You're having to let that go. That is one of the biggest things that you need to let go of in order for you to have the space and the clear energy to plant this seed with this Ace of Pentacles here. I mean, with all of this, this is kind of really some really icky energy, but it's surrounding this, this gem of the Ace of Pentacles. My attention is being brought to the Ace of Pentacles. You're really trying to create a new life for yourself, maybe even a new career or business opportunity or whatnot, whatever, but you are needing to release certain conventional aspects, maybe, with that Hierophant energy and from your pre-shuffle. Okay, let's get into the rest of your reading here, Sag. First half, second half of the reading. You could look at it as the first half, second half of your month. Take it as it resonates, yeah? First set of surrounding energies for you, Sag. In the first half of your reading, you've got strength. Willing to tame yourself, willing to tame the beast within. But this is also taming your ego, all right? Kind of putting your ego in its place of not necessarily being in the driver's seat. You know, 1111, I just saw 1111 on the counter here. And it might be, if you're pursuing a certain career avenue or you've been pursuing a certain, a certain, a certain trajectory for your life right now, it could be that you're needing to quiet your ego so that you can kind of listen to the the higher wisdom from your in, from yourself, from the, from the divine, from your heart. That could be leading you in a brand new direction eventually or ultimately, okay? It's kind of something that I'm getting with this strength energy. Uh, strength is coupled with Page of Swords. What I'm getting from this, Sag, is quiet your mind, quiet your ego, and pay attention to your surroundings. Pay attention to the signs and synchronicities that the universe might be sending you right now. Your unit, your your in your um, your ego might be roaring over this, keeping you from hearing the secret or the, the the more subtle messages. Okay, second set of surrounding energies for you, Sag. In the first half of your reading, I was gonna, I was just about to say Leo. You might have Leo in your chart. You might be a Leo who's a cross watcher for a Sag. Interesting, but also. Strength here represents Leo energy. And I'm not one to normally really call out the signs like that, but that came through, so I, uh, I'll share the message. Take it as it resonates. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Sag, in the first half of your reading, you have the Page of Cups. Very interesting. Um, I'm going to be honest with you, Sag. I'm, I'm having a little bit of trouble reading your energy right now. It's just like things aren't really coming through as clear as possible 
or as clear as they have been in this last round of readings that I've been doing. Something, something is, something is eclipsing your energy right now. And I kind of feel like it has to do with your ego. I really kind of feel like it has to do with wanting things to look a certain way or having learned that things that if like, say, like take spiritualism, for example, if you're new to the spiritual path or spiritual awakening, you might be in an energy of having learned certain elements or certain things, uh, uh, practices from certain guru gurus or certain, you know, religions or whatnot. And you're kind of in an energy of, well, they said it's this way, so it has to look this way or it has to be expressed this way. If I'm not doing it in this certain way, then that means I'm not doing it right. And that's not completely true. Yes, there are some processes that you can face, uh, that you can, well, face, yes, but, but you can follow that have provided certain people with consistent results. Okay, but that doesn't mean that's the only way that it has to happen. And with this Page of Cups energy here, I kind of feel like there's an energy with this that's saying, re-identify your reasons for why you're doing this to begin with. Get down to your true heart and ask yourself, okay, am I? do I need to follow this practice or do I need to do this a certain way or to a certain T, like to the T, or, or can I, can I make a little bit of a modification that's more right for me? That's more in alignment with me and who I am and what I enjoy about life and what I want to experience in life. Page of Cups is coupled with none other than the Queen of Wands. I really like that, Sag. I really, really like that because... First of all, this is you, but this is you being in a receptive mode. This is you being in a confident mode. This is you being, feeling confident, feeling secure, sexy, vibrant, social, but being in the receptive mode of bringing, it, bringing whatever it is you want to you, to you, <laughs> yeah? And to me, this is just reiterating the fact that you can have it whatever way you want. You don't have to follow a certain spiritual practice to a T. You can develop your own way. You can manifest or magnetize towards you the proper practice for yourself. Okay. Okay. Uh, your challenge in the f first half of your reading here, Sag, you have... There it is right there. The devil. The chains. Feeling like you have feeling like something has to look a certain way. Feeling like you have to express yourself a certain way. You have to conduct yourself a certain way to be seen as spiritual or woke or enlightened or whatnot. Whatever. Fuck that shit, man. That ain't nothing but narcissists and sociopaths and psychopaths trying to control you. The devil doesn't have to have any of this power over you unless you give it to him or her or them, right? The devil is coupled with judgment. You are on a path of awakening, a path of enlightenment. Come on, focus. Why don't you want to focus? Whatever, it doesn't matter. You are on this path, but the devil is intercepting your call. You're hearing the call from the universe, but the devil is weaseling his way in there, corrupting the line, taking you off the path of individuality that you're really actually meant to be walking. Spirit is not saying to you that you have to do anything a certain way unless, unless that, that certain way is in alignment with you. And it probably looks, and that, that certain way probably looks a lot different than what other people's ways look. That doesn't mean it's any less relevant. It doesn't mean that it's any less potent for you. The devil is literally intercepting your call, is corrupting your line between the universe, source, spirit, God, God guidance, whatever, whatever whomever is, is blowing this, this horn of awakening. Okay. 
closing message or potential outcome for you, Sag, in the first half of your reading here, you've got excellent, the King of Swords. And it's this energy that it can help you cut out that corruption. Cut, like, look at it for it. Look at things as truly as they are. This is also the energy that says, yeah, I see what you're doing there, but that doesn't really resonate with me. And it doesn't mean I have to follow it in order to be spiritual or to be any more on my path. Just because I'm not following things the way you deem it should be doesn't mean that I'm any less on my path. And so this is that King of Swords energy. That's that, that, this is that energy that gives you that, that wherewithal to be like, oh, okay, I see what's going on here. You know what? I'm, I'm going to leave that behind. I'm not even going to pay attention to that any longer. And it's giving me an energy of not even trying to argue about it. It's just like coming to the realization, coming to the point where you do see something for what it truly is. And you're just like, oh, okay, that's what that is. All right, cool. Moving on. Really that, that's it. Yeah. King of Swords is coupled with, ooh, the Queen of Cups. Emotional stability, emotional grounding. Be, I'm hearing being true to your own emotions, understanding what is emotionally fulfilling for you, understanding what fills your heart, understanding what's making you feel happy, safe, secure, nurtured, loved, cared for. And not accepting any anything into your life or any sort of practice or belief system into your life that does not facilitate this level of unconditional love. Okay. This also is a balance between the masculine and feminine energy. And that King of Swords energy is the protector, the protector of the heart. Look, as long as the heart, you know, so you y'all have heard, I'm sure y'all have heard this saying, happy wife, happy life, right? Okay, fine. But that's kind of what I'm getting here. It's like, as long as my heart is happy and full, I really don't need anything else. I don't need to accept any other point of view. I don't need to accept any other practice. I don't need to accept any other response. No, nope, nothing. My heart is happy, full, and content. I feel in alignment with myself. That is all I need to know. All the other shit can go. Because entertaining it would just be a waste of time and energy. Beautiful. I really like this for you, Sag. Getting into the second half of your reading here. First set of surrounding energies for you. You've got, oh, the Five of Swords. Yikes. Okay. Sabotage, backstabbing, lose-lose situation. Look, if there are some people out there that are preaching a certain certain requirements are, are, are saying that you cannot achieve X amount of awareness or a certain level of awareness or whatnot, whatever, without absolutely doing it this one specific way, whatnot, whatever. You need to understand that they're sabotaging themselves as well. And I want to feel like it, I, I feel like I, I want to say that that has to do the sabotage that's coming through for them is creating a pretty nasty, toxic, uh, nasty cycle of, um, of karma because instead of allowing people to take their own path i'm sorry guys this high oof that was a high-pitched whine and that was painful so i'm sure the mic was picking up on it it just stopped but it might flare up again i'm sorry but instead of allowing people to follow their own path and seek their own inner guidance and just providing them with a way to you know get connected and, and find their own inner sense of guidance it's like they're dictating a, a person's path which uh, that is not i really don't feel like that's any any energy anybody wants to be tangoing with because that 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 could set you up for some pretty nasty nasty kickback Five of Swords is coupled with Justice. Whoa. Justice is coming to the circumstance here in terms of people that are just trying to control or people that are you know, coming through with the fuckery, trying to dictate another person's life. 
But now also, Sag, I feel like you are bringing justice into the situation by walking away or leaving certain elements like this behind. Moving forward, I guess this could be a little bit of a, a future prediction then. I do feel like as you assert yourself here in this King of Swords, Queen of Cups energy, ultimately justice is going to be served in your life in terms of this combative competition, like and competitive energy. It's not an energy of, you know, who can, who can help people more. And I don't even want to say it that way because that's still making it competitive. What I'm trying to, I'm trying to make a, a, an analogy or a comparison towards competitive and non-competitive energy, but it's more about how many people, how many people can I convince that my way is right and all other ways are false or lead to failure. And that's not really what we're supposed to be doing here, especially for those of us that are for that find themselves that find ourselves in positions of leadership. I mean, take me for example. I don't I don't I mean I'm not trying to sit here and say I'm the ultimate leader, but I'm doing these readings for you guys, people, and you guys are recognizing that, you know, I am kind of leading you down this path and I am very happy to do so and I, I work very hard to remain humble in that stance. But I also recognize that I am not I am not the only way. My the channelings that come through me are not the only channelings that are out there. My opinion is that, my opinion. There are many, the opinions are like assholes. Everybody's got one. Doesn't mean anyone's opinion is any less important or valid than another. I bring a certain channeling in and all I'm here to do is bring this forward. If it resonates for you, if it works for you, if you can, if you, if you can take something away from it, then please, by all means, do so. It's here for you. But I will never sit here and say that my opinion or my my point of view is ultimately the right point of view. And if you're not vibing or following me, then you're you're fucked. Like, no, absolutely not. And it may come to a point where you resonated or you vibed with me for a while, and now all of a sudden the messages that I have that I'm channeling aren't vibing with you any longer. And at that point, I wish you well. I am appreciative of the time that we've had together. And I, I encourage you to move forward and find someone that you will res resonate with now. No hate, no love lost, no animosity, no spite, none of that. Okay. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Sag, in the second half of your reading, you have two of pentacles. Finding balance. I really kind of feel like you, you, Sad, you might really need to take some time away from the gurus and the self-help books and the spiritual practices and really start learning about your own, maybe even developing your own spiritual practice here, which absolutely could be a hodgepodge of a bunch of other things put together, but it also could be something brand new that you just came up with yourself. And I mean, Sag, come on, you're, you're incredibly creative. You absolutely could do that. I feel like that would be super easy for you. But that's kind of the, the vibe that I'm getting from this Two of Pentacles. It's finding a balance in your life in a physical way. All right. Uh, two of Pentacles is coupled with <laughs> the Fool. Yeah. So you could be embarking on a brand new journey or like taking a leap of faith in a direction that actually looks way more balanced for you, brings more balance into your life because it's right for you. It's not what someone else tells you. For some of you, you actually do know this. Your balance, your greatest sense of balance is you breaking free from the norm, breaking free from the status quo and doing what it damn loyal is, your, you, whatever, whatever you want to do. Express yourself or flow with the universe however you want to flow with it. That is where your balance is gonna come from, but you're hesitant. I'm like, I'm hearing like, I don't, is this right for me? Is this actually going to lead me to where I want to go? I mean, I have all these gurus and whatnot, all these people in my ear saying, if I want to reach Zion, or if I, I don't know where that's coming from, but if I, if I want to reach Zion, or if I want to reach oblivion or whatnot, whatever, I have to do it this certain way. Uh, 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 uh. Do it your way. 
whatever your heart is leading you, guiding you towards, whatever path your heart is guiding you towards, do it. Your challenge. In the second half of your reading here, Sag, you have <laughs> 10 of wands. Perfect. Burdens. And I'm really feeling like the burdens of external people, the burdens of external life, the burdens of people that maybe have just been manipulating you or trying to get you to see things their way when really you need to see it another way or you just straight up see it another way. This is you taking on the, risk of the burdens and the expectations of others. Okay. Ten of Wands is coupled with... No, oh, the Seven of Swords. Sag, that ain't gonna take you, it, it ain't gonna get you nowhere. It's deceitful. They're lying to you. In some cases, they're just telling you this so that you can be a part of their flock and line their pockets with your contributions and all that shit. Like, no. You don't have to do this any certain way other than what is right for you. I mean, I'm trying to find the right words for this, but really all I want to tell you is just like, look at these two cards and tell me what you feel. Or just figure out what you feel. Like, look at, look at all of the wands that man is carrying. And then look at the energy that's con that, that is clarifying it. Deception. Cheating. Lying. Stealing. Backstabbing even. You don't have to carry all these wands. You don't have to, you don't have to follow a path that is just going to burden you. Period. Regardless of what anyone else says. And I am feeling like there are some people around some of you out there that are that desire that want you to see it the way they see it so that they can just feel validated not so not necessarily so that they can help you and i'm not trying to say that they're terrible people some people really do want to help but others just want the validation that their way is right or that they they know what the truth is and blah blah, blah. come on man <laughs> closing message or potential outcome for you sag in the second half of your reading here you have Excellent. Six of Swords. Leave all that behind you. Yeah? Six of Swords is coupled with... Oh, the Knight of Cups. It's time to follow your heart. What I'm hearing with this, Sag, is honor your truth. Leave the burdens of the past behind you. Leave the, the, the rough situation, the burdensome, the tiring, the draining situation behind. Leave the rough waters behind and go with the flow. Go with what is natural for you. Follow your heart's guidance. I am going to say that you have come far enough on your spiritual journey or your spiritual awakening to really be in this place to truly trust and follow your heart, regardless of where it may be leading you. It might be scary. You may not know exactly why you're being called to go in this direction, but as long as that's what your heart is leading you towards, there's no reason to fear following it, okay? You're ready for that. You are really ready for this at this point. You're ready to leave the status quo. You're ready to leave the beaten path. And it's time for you to start following your own heart. Go off that beaten path and blaze a new trail for yourself. And that could even be a trail for others to follow until they are ready to blaze their own trail. Yes? All right, Sag. Let's get your Oracle guidance here. For the month of January 2020. One last shuffle for my Sag and Metazicals. All right, Saggy. Let's see what we've got for you. Sag and Metazical. Saggy, Saggy. Oracle guidance here, please. Spirit for my Saggies. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the month of January 2020. The month. Oh, not that one. For my Saggies. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the month of January 2020. Come on. Bear with me, guys. We're going to get this. We're going to get this card. I promise you. Patience is a virtue. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, there it is right there. All right, cool. And we've got card number 25, Aloha Ke Akua, Blessings of the Supreme Being. Another sign got this card. Was it Aquarius? I don't really quite remember. Anyway, let's see what this says for you. Aloha Keokua. Come on, focus, 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 focus. There we go. The divine is love. The supreme being from which all of lifetime, uh, all of life emanates, manifests a blessing for you. The realm of the heart is love's temple. The realm of, I'm sorry, when you enter the heart, you gain access to the great one and to the mana, the power, authority, grace, and magnetism to manifest your divine destiny. Trust in what is meant for you. Surrender doubt and disconnection in favor of love and respect for the great one, and you shall live your true destiny with joy in your heart. Love can and will conquer all. <clears throat> in a reading, this card says, a blessing is coming to you now. Things do not need to be complicated. When you are confusing yourself with too many variables, too much information or fear and doubt, focus on filling your heart with love and let everything else go. The Great One will handle all matters in your life if you open your heart to divine guidance and let go with faith. This will not make you passive. Rather, it will allow you to feel inspired to take only the most helpful actions. This oracle indicates an answered prayer and that the Divine One has you covered in a situation of concern to you. You are healing and deepening your relationship with the Divine. Beautiful. And actually, that falls right in line with the last statement I made about following your heart. Okay, the more the more you listen to your intuition and the more you follow the uh, guidance from the universe, from your higher self, from your heart, the stronger your bond becomes between you and source, spirit, God, creator, the angels, the extended masters, your, your guides, your own intuition. But that would mean leaving behind any sort of indoctrination or hive mind mentality or even the advice from certain gurus or certain practices and whatnot. It's going to leave, it's going to take leaving that behind and just following your true guidance coming from within. Because honestly, anyone that is external to you doesn't really know what truly is best for you. Even if this is your, these are your mother, your father, uh, or, or like your grandparents or people that raised you, even they don't know what's best for you. Truly, on an individual level, sure, they may be able to provide for you. They'll be able to, you know, maybe potentially provide you with a home and food and 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 clothing and an education to a certain extent something you they could provide you with those things sure but when it comes to what is individually as a person what is right for you at any given moment in your life or on your path the only person or the only individual that knows that better than anyone else is your own self and god source or creator however you want to identify with it the universe even okay so at some point you are going to have to silence the external and just let focus solely on the internal and the more you do that the more you strengthen your bond with god source creator the universe your higher self your guides your intuition your angels the ascended masters blah 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 whatnot whatever okay all right, Saggy. So there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Again, if you guys would like a look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All the information is in the description box below. But with that said, I hope you guys have a fantastic month. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of February. Yeah? Take care. Bye.